Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 best restaurants in Singapore. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Singapore boasts a varied range of food to appeal to its diverse population, thanks to its rich cosmopolitan background. Singapore is often referred to as Asia's cuisine capital, and it has drawn some of the world's top chefs to open award-winning restaurants there. In recent years, growth in gourmet establishments led by top chefs has ushered in a new manner of dining out, raising Singapore's fine dining status even more. We've compiled a list of Singapore's top 10 restaurants. Number 10. Iggy's. Since launching in 2004, Iggy's unique dining experience has garnered it a Michelin star and other honors for its unique flavors and textures made using seasonal ingredients. Ignatius Chan, the restaurant's founder and award-winning sommelier, continually pushes culinary frontiers to serve high-quality food and wine. The Carabinero Risotto is one of the restaurant's hallmark dishes. The wine list includes a wide range of burgundy labels, some of which are ordered directly from the winery. Iggy's grew to 32 diners after relocating to the Hilton in 2010, and now features a main dining area as well as two private dining rooms. The restaurant's interiors were redesigned in 2016 by award-winning designer Chris Lee, who used light and dark hues to create an intimate ambience and attract attention to the dining counter and the chef's kitchen. Number 9. Waku Gin. Waku Gin, which first debuted in 2010 in Marina Bay Sands, has since been awarded two Michelin stars. Chef Tetsuya Wakuda noted for his ability to combine fresh food with French culinary arts and Japanese-style presentation, created it. His Sydney restaurant is likewise regarded as one of the best in the country. Diners will have the option to sit at the unique ten-seater, chef's table, where they may sample the omakase chef's menu, which takes diners on a gastronomic journey through Japan's seasons and regions. Private dining rooms are available for those seeking greater intimacy. Guests can enjoy the bar dining room, which offers both the omakase chef's menu and the a la carte cuisine menu, which includes pasta, donburis, bar snacks, and desserts. Finally, the bar is the ideal spot for sampling handcrafted Japanese-style cocktails, expertly sourced wines, and premium sake collections. Number 8. Gunther's Singapore. Gunther's which won a Michelin Plate Award in 2007, was founded by Belgian chef Gunther Hubrexen and serves delightful French meals that are in tune with the seasons. The chef is particularly fond of basic, honest, and down-to-earth meals, which he perfects to highlight the distinct flavors of his premium products. The restaurant was renovated in 2018 by the award-winning design firm Weyenberg to reflect a modern interpretation of Art Nouveau woodwork, a style that originated in Belgium before finding prominence in France at the turn of the century. A bar, the main dining room, and private, soundproof rooms are now available at the restaurant. Number 7. John. Singapore's skyline and canals are mesmerizing from the 70th floor of Swiss Hotel The Stamford, making it one of Singapore's most romantic restaurants. Executive chef Kirk Westerway promises a refined recreation of British gastronomy with an emphasis on fresh goods and natural flavors, evocative of his background in England, at the Michelin-starred restaurant. Guests can find high-quality ingredients on both the meat and vegetarian menus, as well as a comprehensive wine list. In a stylish environment with an attractive private dining room and a dining space, the restaurant can accommodate 40 guests. The restaurant's spectacular Murano chandelier and mesmerizing green and blue ceiling panels, which complement the colors of Singapore's Marina Bay, will wow guests. Number 6. Shinji. Chef Shinji Kanasaka moved outside of Japan in 2010 to open his second sushi restaurant, Shinji, in Singapore, after successfully opening his first in Tokyo. Through its omakase cuisine, the one Michelin-starred restaurant pays homage to the core of Japanese culture, art, and age-old Japanese culinary traditions. A team of Japanese artisan chefs has been tasked with creating a basic cuisine with high quality and seasonal ingredients. Diners will be able to see the cooking of the dish, which is overseen by master chef Koichiro Oshino, after being assigned a Japanese chef from behind a wooden counter. They will like the restaurant's colorful and harmonious interior design, which has been described as a delicate yet vibrant house by Japanese interior designer Junzo Iricado, as well as the cozy 16-seater sushi counter. Number 5. Les Amos. The three Michelin-starred Les Amos restaurant, which opened in 1994 and is located in the heart of the city, serves contemporary European cuisine and has one of Southeast Asia's largest wine cellars. 
Chef Sebastian Lepinoy has created a compilation of recipes that pay respect to French gastronomy and use a variety of coveted seasonal ingredients obtained from all over France. Les Amos is a lovely 76-seat restaurant with patterned carpeting, polished granite floors, chandeliers, and red velvet-covered walls that create an attractive and inviting ambience for dining. Number 4. Odette. Odette, a three Michelin star restaurant, is named after Chef Julian Roy's grandmother, who taught him that the most spectacular meals can emerge from the simplest materials. Chef Julian Roy's lifelong concern for seasonality, terroir and artisanal produces guides the restaurant's modern French cuisine. Guests will be able to marvel at the restaurant's interior decor, which was designed by Sasha Leong and embodies Chef Julian's culinary philosophy with a light color palette and a transparent glass enclosed kitchen. Guests will also notice the restaurant's art, which features a universe of shapes and forms that float and twirl from Odette's ceiling and was created by Singaporean artist Dawn, Ng. Number 3. Imperial Treasure Super Peking Duck. Imperial Treasure Super Peking Duck Paragon is a Michelin-starred Chinese restaurant known for roasting Peking duck to perfection. It is part of the Imperial Treasure Restaurant Group, which has over 20 locations in several countries. The famed dish is served in the traditional restaurant using centuries-old procedures adapted from the Emperor's Imperial Kitchen, in which each duck is roasted to perfection before being sliced on the platter in front of customers' eyes. The baby lobster roasted in excellent broth and the sautéed crab claw with shallots and preserved olives are two other hallmark dishes. Number 2. Zane. Two Michelin star restaurant Zane is the Stockholm sibling restaurant of Fransen. Bjorn Fransen, a Swedish chef who was educated in France and lived in Japan for a period, where found kaiseki, which he describes as the ultimate type of tasting menu. Zane's eight-course tasting menu is expertly selected around local and world-class ingredients, offering delectable neo-Nordic dishes with Japanese influences. Zane's culinary experience is complemented by a fascinating study of the 1926 shop house in which the Swedish restaurant is housed. On the first floor, guests will be served an aperitif and an amuse-bouche before dinner. They will then travel to the second floor to sample the tasting menu, which will be expertly prepared by Tristine Farmer, the Scottish head chef, and his staff. Following that, petit fours and coffee will be served in the top floor living area. Number 1. Shokawa. Fresh seafood is shipped daily from Tokyo's Toyosu Market to the two Michelin-starred restaurant. The 18-course omakase en menu, which includes prepared meals and exquisite sushi, will satisfy guests at this shrine of Edamai Sushi. The restaurant takes pleasure in delivering only the freshest seasonal seafood and produce that has been cooked and manipulated as little as possible. Diners will be able to sit at one of the eight private counter seats and observe head chef Kazumi Nishida in action. Guests can also reserve a six-seat private room for greater solitude. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.